guys, Caden here, a little trouble at the front gate, you know, drawbridge goes down in the morning, the earth show up, gotta take care of business. But anyway, right, today I'm going to start showing you some of the tools that we use here. Real quick video, uh, basically everything that the Scotty DMG Info has used, but a few more um, that I've added and I find are useful. Um, same spiel, just a different take, you know, the cardboard, the glue, uh, glue gun and, and all that, but there's a few other things that I use that I think make life a whole lot easier when we're doing the cra uh, doing the crafting. So sit back, uh, go grab a cup of coffee, and uh, be right back to show you what we got. What do you think? All right, basically here you see just about everything that um, that you've seen before. Um, this is a miter box. I think it cost me ten bucks uh, Midwest. I had to order that online. This I got at Lowe's. It's a really good cutter. Um, I used the cheap one, and they work, uh, but they don't last. And boy, do you cut a lot of cardboard. So go ahead, spend a few bucks. Um, yes, you heard that, Scotty, uh, from me. You can uh, penalize me later. Spend a few bucks, get a good one. Um, a good metal ruler is advisable, though I will tell you any old plastic one will do. Um, I also got, uh, just to make life easy, um, the square. Square is also a good thing to have, uh, especially when you're doing... Um, uh, corners you measure out and then you want a straight angle up this is your uh, piece I just got a, a um, cheapy um, t-square here like this um, I, I've seen others have you know the big long ones from uh, art stores I just haven't seen the need for it yet myself so I guess we're not going to get one yet unless that need arises so this one works really well I saw Scotty use this or a facsimile thereof. This is a real soft one. Got it at um, a uh, got it at Lowe's, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's, same thing. Well, different stores, but same premise. And it's fibery, and these are replaceable. They're Velcro, so I thought that was sort of cool. And I got that. And you do a lot of uh, um, sanding when you're doing um, things like. Uh, popsicle sticks, uh, wood pieces, basswood, balsa wood, things like that. So that's uh, the standby to have too. And of course, boy, do you use a lot of that. Boy, do you use a lot of these. Um, yes, I'm going to use the longer ones. They get really long, but I have a box full that, uh, hmm, how shall I say, I stole from my wife. Shh. But at any rate... <laughs> Um, that's what we use, and we're using them up good. And speaking of guns, I got real lucky. Let me show you. My wife had a plug-in one. I'm not sure if you can see this. But what it does is it charges all the time. Um, so she happened to have this. I asked her if I could borrow it, and I have. charges all the time and it pops off so I don't know if anybody's ever seen this um, but boy if this ain't cool and a an, um, nice glue gun is what you want to have so there's uh, you know like I said the basic stuff uh, by the way um, the flexible modeling paste that uh, Scotty says to use is worth it um, yeah it's a little expensive but it is worth it, and here's why. You can make really cool fireplaces with it. And it does look like flame 
as you uh, peek it up with your tool really looks cool so there's that and of course he was also right about the goop when in doubt if something's gonna stick or, or stay the goop is the stuff so there you go so these are some of the basic tools like I said nothing new you've ever seen before except for maybe this the mat here is a cutting mat and this is uh, what they call a self-sealing or self-healing mat and I've been using this from the beginning it cost me about twenty dollars this is a uh, 23 by I believe 17 inches about 20 bucks at any good and what it does is I can cut cardboard on this bad boy and yes it cuts into it but it's such a tightly annealed rubber or material I'm not sure what it is but it feels like rubber that it doesn't leave a deep gash and you can just cut over and over and over again really makes life easy for cutting yes you can put a piece of cardboard down and that works great but boy ain't this cool so if you can afford it go ahead spend the pennies it will last forever it's two-sided and this side is gridded and I don't know if you can see it's got inches um, across the side up um, across the bottom up the side makes it nice uh, for uh, cutting All right, just a few more items. The requisite uh, sand, construction sand that you will use forever, especially if you're doing these bad boys, the graves or uh, rubble in the uh, dungeon or caves or whatever. A um, little uh, white glue, a little of this all over it, and it is a great technique. You can paint it to look anything you want or you cannot paint it depending on the grit this was a uh, coffee can that my son or my grandson went out on street side swept up in about five minutes and I have been using it for about a month and a half now and I still got tons because when you use it you pour it off I just pour it right back into the container and I got lots more for next time so this is indispensable so get yourself some grandkids are wonderful things I also have uh, these two items which I don't know I always wanted one I saw some neat stuff being done this is a hot glue or hot foam uh, let me get this right hot wire foam cutter um, there's all sorts out there I, I look, thought about um, trying to make my own and decided not to on the kind of cuz every time I get uh, working with electricity somebody gets electrocuted or the house blows up so I decided not to do that and this one's sort of cool I got it at a, a Hobby Lobby it also doubles as a wand now it's not um, wireless does have a power supply does have a separate switch um, so you can turn it on and off you can use it as a wand or you can use it like a, like I originally have it here in the table this is what allowed me to do something like this I uh, cut a round shape uh, thinned it and quite literally this is foam the monolith is foam and carved with this hot wire tool the thorn symbol I don't know if anybody knows Viking uh, uh, symbology um, this is the thorn rune Viking rune and painted it up per um, the uh, techniques I've been learning here and these are real stones um, this is these are old weeds um, from a craft broom uh, that my wife had and she said I'll never do anything with that so I cut a couple off and put them on there 
So this made the monolith. Okay, and just to give you a, an idea, I always keep a figure, and here's a tip. Keep a couple figures handy on, on your workbench. It makes it so that you can say, well, gee, you know, how big am I making this? So your open grave, you could say, well, yeah, okay, that'd be an, you know, a good size for an open grave. Gives, gives you a good sense of the size of your doors, the size of your fireplaces or whatever that you're working on. So this, I want it to be a big monolith that's going to be a part of a dwarven adventure that I'm building for the fall uh, when my college uh, guy teams, uh, my college gaming team comes uh, back. They start college again. We play every weekend. Um, and it's going to be all set in dwarven uh, mountains. And they're going to be keep on finding these things with different glowing symbols on them. And uh, they're going to wonder why all the stones are the way they are. So it'll be sort of neat. And it's foam and it's used, uh, done with the same technique. Oh, die little man. Um, it's gonna, it, it was made with the same techniques as everything else that DM Scotty, DMG Info has uh, shown. So nothing, nothing new to see here, folks. Moving along. But at any rate, this was about 40 bucks, but... If you watch, like, AC Moore, Hobby Lobby, every weekend they have some kind of coupon that says, 40% off, one purchase. Guess what I got for 20 bucks? This was about uh, $15, but it does a really good job. And I got to tell you, the whole thing gets hot, so I'm not so sure that I'm not going to see if I can't do some more intricate carving with it in depth we'll see so there's a look at uh, a lot of the tools that I've been using like I said like the mat in these a little different from everybody else but hey that's my two cents these are the tools I'm using and now in the next couple of videos we'll hopefully see uh, the results of these purchases so uh, have a good one guys and uh, we'll see you in the next video